It's a busy time of year for the U.S. Coast Guard with many people enjoying time out on the water. But rescuers can't reach everyone when they run into trouble. That's why they reline the Coast Guard Auxiliary. Fox 11's Angela Kelly shows us how members are making a difference. Lake Winnebago is a hot spot for summer fun, and Bruce and Barb Furman have made it their mission to keep voters here safe. Coming down. Coming down. The husband and wife team is a part of the volunteer branch of the U.S. Coast Guard, known as the Auxiliary. They joined in 1991. He was ex-Navy and wanted to be on the water. <laughs> I was terrified of the water. I almost drowned on this lake twice as a child. So it was, you know, a new experience for me and one I wasn't so sure that I wanted to get into. But 22 years later, the Furmans are still here, along with other auxiliary members based at the Whiting Boathouse in Nina. Launching! They are all trained by the U.S. Coast Guard. We do search and rescue, we do safety patrols, uh, we do security zones. So just about everything a regular Coast Guard could do or does, we also get involved in doing because we're in this area and they can't always get the manpower down here to do the job. The closest official Coast Guard station to Lake Winnebago is nearly 45 minutes away in Sheboygan. Auxiliary members like the Furmans, who live in Nina, can respond to a distress call much quicker. Roger that. I don't care how big a boat you're on, when things go wrong and it's not working, it gets real small real quick. And when the sun goes down, that stress factor just climbs. Together, the Furmans have conducted more than 300 search and rescue operations. When we get there, when we arrive on scene, the people, you see the relief just wash across their face because we're the professionals as far as they're concerned. And they see us and they think they're automatically safe right at that point. And to, to a great extent, they are. Auxiliary members aren't paid for their work. The Coast Guard reimburses them for fuel and provides equipment like radios and life jackets. This boat was paid for by a community fundraiser, and their office was built with materials donated by local businesses. The Furmans say the reward comes from helping others. The number one thing really is um, we want people to be safe on the water. Uh, we feel really good about it when we can help somebody even if they just run out of gas or their motor won't start. Their efforts to educate voters are paying off as well. I think the one thing that, that probably impresses me the most is when we first started uh, doing this and we were on the water doing operations, it was rare to see somebody in a boat out there with a life jacket on, especially children. And as we patrolled, as we talked to people, uh, today, it's just exactly the opposite. It's rare to find somebody that doesn't have a life jacket on, uh, especially children. So I like to believe that in our efforts, we've turned that around. We've, we've made it a little safer. Uh, and, and it's just great to know that we've, we've been able to do that and that we've been here to help people out when they need it. The Furmans are among 30,000 members of the U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary nationwide who are all making a difference. On Lake Winnebago, Angela Kelly, Fox 11 News. Between the two of them, the Furmans have received 50 awards in their 22 years of service, some of them from top leaders of the United States Coast Guard for saving lives on Lake Winnebago.